Hey friends, so the new Outlook has been launched and when I say new Outlook, it doesn't mean that Outlook which comes with Microsoft Office. So when I search for Outlook, I will uh, notice one application here which is Outlook New and which is different from the original Outlook. So when I clicked on this Outlook New, I saw that it is actually the mail application and the Windows mail application has been replaced. So the mail app still exists on my system but there is this new app and this is similar to the mail app but here's the interesting thing about new outlook. So it is free. It is free of cost. And uh, since I'm logged in right now, I cannot show you. But the best part about this application is that you can add your Gmail account. You can add your Hotmail account. You can add your Yahoo account. You can add any email account, any, I mean, any popular email account to it. Just like you could do it to the Microsoft Outlook 365 client. But this is different from the mail application on your system. Because if you check the mail application, it will automatically pick up your Hotmail account. Now the Hotmail account, uh, see Microsoft is a great company, but the Hotmail account wasn't usually as popular as uh, Gmail and other applications. But this new Outlook works just like Outlook, except that this is free of cost and it is a part of the Microsoft uh, Windows 11 package. So I checked the option, I mean, I checked its main page on what all we should check and what all we shouldn't. So the first one is that we can pin emails and it says that we have this option next to emails to pin them. Okay, so I can pin it and I can unpin it. The next one is that we can snooze emails. We have this option to snooze emails. So do we have it with the email directly? We have this option with uh, emails directly that I can snooze it till tomorrow. And I'll be uh, checking this email tomorrow or whenever I want to. The third option is that I can schedule when to send the email. So if I create a new email, I can send it directly or I can schedule the send option. Now we already had this on Outlook, Microsoft Outlook, but that was the paid subscription. And this is free of cost and available to every Windows 11 user for free. And then we have categories. So just like uh, with uh, Microsoft for Outlook, we have categories here. They have a list of features here like pin emails, snooze emails, my day view, inbox rules. So yeah, we can add uh, rules to inbox. We couldn't do it with the mail application, conversation settings and uh, loop components. And uh, you can add your Microsoft 365 account to it. And I have actually added my Microsoft 365 account here. The next one is uh, that you can add third party emails like Gmail, Yahoo and other accounts and you can have multiple account support. You can create PSTs with it. No, you cannot. Uh, can we? Outlook on web, Outlook, Windows, Mail app, new Outlook. Wait. No, we cannot create PSTs with it. So this is uh, this is one thing that we cannot do. And uh, then we have shared mailboxes and delegations. Okay. So this is the main difference between Outlook on uh, the Windows Mail app and the new Outlook. So uh, if you look through the, if you check through this list, everything that mentions no for Windows Mail app and yes for new Outlook for Windows is what is different. Was this helpful? If yes, then please subscribe to the channel. And if not, then let us know in your comment section so that we can uh, make this video better further. Thank you for watching this video and have a nice day.